is a local engineer and father who was diagnosed with one of the most deadly cancers. I said, just give me the numbers. Tell me what the numbers are. Well, two years, 50%, four years, 0%. And that was five years ago. There is no question Kent Harrison is beating the odds, but he is not doing it alone. No, you don't fight that battle by yourself. Tonight in Good Health, Dr. Frank McGeorge has the story behind Kent's incredible journey and the message his family wants everybody to hear. In 2010, Kent Harrison developed a lump on the side of his neck. Now, he tried to ignore it, but his girlfriend, Jennifer, eventually insisted he see a doctor. Well, it was cancer. He needed chemo and radiation, but thought the cancer was gone for good. He had no idea the fight had only just begun. For Kent Harrison of Northville, 2011 was a year to remember. He and Jennifer got married. They adopted a little boy from Russia, bringing Max home just in time for Christmas. But all too soon, cancer came calling. You might want to come see me today. We've seen a spot. It was Kent's former oncologist. The cancer was back and it had spread. At first, no one could agree on what kind of cancer it was, but Kent was eventually diagnosed with stage four melanoma. For the new dad, the news was devastating. I remember telling my sister, no, look, the only thing I want to do is I want to see him go to kindergarten. That's all I wanted to do. That's it. Just give me that long. You know, it was heartbreaking. It still is. You hope and pray that 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 will happen. Jennifer became what she calls an aggressive researcher. They went to MD Anderson in Texas, but ultimately found the best treatment options at the Carmanis Cancer Institute in Detroit. Kent responded to a new targeted therapy called ipilimumab until his cancer became resistant. One of the fortunate aspects of our cancer center is that we have a program referred to as a phase one program, which gives people the opportunity to get access to new treatments as they're developing. And so Kent was able to get into that program. He was able to get access to a drug that's still not in common use for melanoma today. After suffering a seizure on a family outing, Kent learned he had lesions in his brain too. I had 18 lesions in my brain at one time. It's been cancer's version of whack-a-mole. Kent's cancer would pop up somewhere new and doctors would find a new treatment to knock it back down. He is a fighter, you know, he was a new dad and, and I, he never stopped working and it was just amazing to me that he could go on like that. And two years ago? Go get the next PET scan. Clear from head to toe. Well, not head to toe, chin to toe. No cancer seen. No idea why. Even his doctors were amazed. This is, you won the lottery. I, I've never seen anything like this. I think it's a miracle, really. I do. As a mechanical engineer, Kent knows he is beating the odds. I have no idea how it was fixed. I don't know how it was broken, but it is. So I'm going to just accept it, I guess. Max is now five years old. He'll start kindergarten in the fall. I don't have those thoughts like, boy, now if I could just reach high school graduation. I don't think that way because it's, we don't have cancer now. I'm going to just assume I'm done. I'm not going to, I'm going to get scans every year and it's always going to be good. It's the only way I can think about it. They've found a second family of sorts in the staff at Carmanis. They know the cutting edge research taking place there is literally a matter of life and death. For us, it's everything. Clinical trials research is everything. As they always say, say in the wild, you don't have to be the fastest gazelle, you have not have to be the slowest. They hope the research can continue to outrace the cancer. Most of all, they want others to learn about the risks of melanoma. Kent spent long summer days in the sun as a child, but no one ever found the original source of his melanoma. It was something that we didn't see or disappeared or I didn't think was something to look for. I had never gone to a dermatologist in my life. Just go once a year. It's easy, it's simple. If they have to take things out, it's not painful. Just do it. And that may save you from what we've gone through. For the Harrison family, life goes on. I don't think about it every day. I don't think how amazingly lucky we are. It just is. Now, Kent has had to have four brain surgeries over the past two years to remove areas of dead tissue that were causing seizures. 
but his most recent scan was stable, and that's a good thing. Now, tomorrow is Melanoma Monday. It's a day designed to raise awareness about the most deadly form of skin cancer, and you can learn much more about melanoma on the health page at clickondetroit.com. Back to you.